This is a, a, a video to help build the double O water wheel. We start on figure one, just extract the jig carefully from the grey board sheet. Make sure all the folds fold easily. If they don't, fold easily back and just simply run your blade down the uh, score lines just to loosen them up so they fold easily. Make sure they all fold right. Note how that goes together, just slots in on both sides. For this kit, I'm using Speed Bond. Um, there are various glues, obviously, you can use. And uh, in one of our fine tip applicators, and assemble the jig. So once the glue is all dried and your jig is assembled, just add a strip of card on one side, like so. This is for just when you put, later on in when you're putting the wheel together, it's just easier because then it rests inside. So on to figure two. Carefully extract the wheel components, the inner and the outer. section. There we are. Now these outer wheels go over one side of the inner, like so. Little spots of glue is all you need. Just carefully make sure all of the outer edges are flush. There we are. So we have two of those. And put them to one side and onto the axle. The axle is made up of four little calves. These four on the grey sheet. These two go in the middle and these two on the outside. Just carefully pop them free. And then just glue them all together really. So if you do them by pairs, two little middle ones first. Like so. And then one of these on either side. Again, careful to keep everything flush. They are very fiddly, small parts. And so you end up with like a little center square on each end. These will slot in. the hole in the middle of the main wheel. So we'll stick on one for the time being. Small amounts of glue around the outside and on the in and then attach it to the inside of the wheel. So where those little, where these little grooves are inside first. And like so. gentle, very careful. Put them together. Now I'm going to place it in the jig so as the glue sets the wheels will be perfectly aligned. Figure three. Now these, this is the fiddly bit, take your time. So once once you've allowed that to a glue and that glue to set 
your, you know, it should be all aligned these grooves. If it isn't, then something drastically has gone wrong. It will be a bit wonky, but that will straighten out as you add the paddles. So these are all the paddles. These are steps for later. So leave them in. Um, I advise to just to, to extract four at a time so you don't lose them. Let put them in and then go on to the next four. So the best way of doing this is the four points of the compass first to add a bit more stability. If you just go straight round, it will all get wonky and it'll be a bit of a, a nightmare to make. So if we start with the North Pole, as it were, just put a bit of glue in the top grooves. So notice the little grooves, these will fit in quite neatly. So just slot them in, make them sure it's seated nicely. And just let each one set, make sure they're flush to the outer edges and then just carefully rotate, place back in the jig and move on to the next, sort of the east as it were, as we go around. And place the next paddle in. Again, hold it steady in place, allowing that glue to take hold. point. Carefully rotate, place into the jig. So the last of the compass points as you will. find that just after these four that the wheel is taking its shape and holding its place it's not getting skewed it's already feeling a bit more secure for the next four paddles I recommend carrying on along these supports so halfway between at the next four then after that fill in the gaps so I've added another four in, as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's pretty firm now. So if it's easier, I've discarded the jig at this point. And now I'm just gonna start working my way around, putting the rest of the paddles in, in between. So, and there we are. We are complete. Figure four, the sluice gate. So these bits here, let's take that little bit out. So carefully extract the components required. Be very gentle with these so you don't bend them inadvertently. You notice that the inner little gate here is held on. Some little points here and here at the base. Now for ease, I'd recommend sticking one side first. Fix that flush with the outside edges. Just on one side. You'll notice that the outer comes in more than the inner one, as it were. This gives a little area where this gate can sit up on little, some rails, as it were. So at this point, you can let's just free those ties. So there's one there, 
One there. Just gently run the knife in. One there. It should just free that section up. Yeah, we are. So then that can be moved up and down. And you see on top of the rails. Oh, there's me dropping it. On the inside to the height or you can leave it free. Oh yeah, just flush. Quickly move this up and down now a few times to make sure that any glue that might have squelched out doesn't stick that in a position that you don't want. It's fairly firm so you don't have to glue that in position. You can have that as a movable part. So, now onto the channel section. Pop this out. Now, if you want to put stonework on this, it's best to do this now and using the, the thin sheets that come in our builder's packs. For example, this one here, I used M0058 cut stone work and uh, basically using this as a template pop it on cut out a section that you need and as glue make sure your edges are flush same for the inside but um, for this purpose I am just going to build as it comes out of the box so as I say make sure all these folds Fold easily. And the sluice gate gets added at the end here. Wraps around there flush with that little step before the screw. Like so. Fit that in flush. If you're doing the stonework actually, it's probably best not to cover the inside section where this glues. It's best just to go up to the end of this part here. And it keeps it as a snug fit, otherwise it will be pushed out and you'll be stretching the join there because it is made exactly to the side to the width for that. Just add some glue. Just keep that flush to the end. Now you probably just need to hold that for a few moments for the glue to set. Now the little cogwheel here. Oh, tiny little piece. This fits over the top of the, uh, the sluice gate. Just put some tiny points of glue. Don't want to glue it to the handle. Little blob either side. And just slot that over and flush to the top. to just move the handle up and down so you don't accidentally glue it in place. There we are. So that's still free to go up and down. I've actually jumped ahead on this. You need the walkway section. It's me not reading my own instructions. This simply goes into that groove. Now Make up your mind at this point which side you want the staircase to go on. Because the side, this acts as a top step. So I'm going to put the stairs on this side. So it needs to be flush to this side, overhanging the side that you want the stairs to go to. So, another fiddly bit coming up. Figure five. So take out the stairs, 
Notice on the square you've got this jig, this U-shaped jig. This is so this can slot into. Test this fold. You may need to just deepen the score if it doesn't fold easily. So create that shape, slot in. Now for these last four steps. Carefully take them all out. First step, let's put some tiny glue on here. I'm going to do this so it doesn't glue it to the jig. Just a few little dots. Now you'll need to angle these through the bars and then flush to steps at the bottom. It's a very fiddly job, but as before, the more steps you get in, the more it holds its shape and the easier it gets. And just allow that first step to set. Then work your way up. You just gently push on the edges rather than the middle. If you press at the back, it will tilt the step. So to keep them flush, just tap down with the point of your tweezers on the front edges. steps you get in the easier it is so everything starts just to hold its shape now to these side trim this flat edge goes to the bottom here Follows this line, it's just scored into the card. So I just put some few blobs of glue down the side. On. Make sure that's flush at the base, following that line, like so, and repeat on the other side. Now, take your staircase and fit flush under that gam plank, just a bit of a wriggle to get it in. As you see, the overhang creates the top step as it were. That fits into place. And there we have it. Now lastly, we have these four circles. These, let's pop one out, the larger one first, fit over the axis, the axle join. Let's just pop this center centered as you can in place then a small circle on top Blue. again try and get this as centered as you can Complete 
heated water wheel. This and simply just drops in. And there we have it. One completed water wheel, complete with a wheel that goes round, and a sluice gate that opens and shuts.